Your home is your castle, or so we've often been told. But let's take a look at this week's case. It involves a real man, Edwin Gray. He lives in Washington, D.C. He and his family had lived in a house for 50 years. It was a row house, and just as the name implies, it was part of a row of houses that were built with common walls between the houses. New neighbors moved in. New neighbors moved in. Young couple. They had a small child, and the wife of the couple was expecting another baby. They were concerned. They were concerned because they smelled cigarette smoke in the basement area and smelled it throughout their house. So they brought suit against Edwin Gray and his family, contending that he should not smoke and no one else in the house should smoke because the common wall had some holes in it and it was allowing the smoke to come through the wall into their structure. Well, Edwin wasn't too excited about this and basically said, no, 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 this is my home. I should be allowed to smoke. The case went to trial. And as I say, the couple was seeking a restraining order that would prevent Edwin or anyone else who visited the property or lived in the property from smoking. And if they wanted to smoke, they had to go outside. Well, a Superior Court judge in Washington, D.C. heard the case and decided in favor of the young couple said it's well known the secondhand smoke can provide a health hazard and in this instance there's evidence that secondhand smoke is penetrating the common wall between the two structures and therefore creating a health hazard and he entered a temporary restraining order now case will proceed but generally when a temporary restraining order is granted the court normally will enter a permanent restraining order and that's where the case seems to be headed so what do we learn from this case? What do we learn from this case? Well, an important lesson, and that is in today's world, in which we have increasing congested housing in urban areas, and where we have traditional homes that have been around for a long time with a shared wall as in row house development, well, sometimes you are sharing your house with someone else that you hadn't intended because of the nature of that common wall. And what does that common wall allow to penetrate to the other family living on the other side, whether it's smoke, noise, or various other things? Well, you need to be aware of that. You need to be aware of that. So we learned today that when you have essentially a shared structure, it's not entirely your castle. Okay, we bring you this case, we bring cases every week so you understand how the law works. I'm David Allen.